Good afternoon, everybody uneducated economist here. So I drove the pickup truck today because the Explorer didn't start. Not sure exactly what happened, but I was inconvenienced for all of about 90 seconds as I had to go back into the house to get the set of keys for the truck. Now, this is the reason why I drive POS vehicles, and I drive multiple of them. You have to have more than one if you're going to be driving a beater because you never know when it's going to break down, just like, for example, today. So now, typically, I've been driving around a 99 Ford Explorer that's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got like 92,000 miles on it, uh, very clean, it runs great, but for whatever reason, it didn't want to start this morning. So, I have my backup. I have my S10 pickup. I also have another 99 Toyota Corolla. So even for whatever reason, if this car didn't start, I would have another backup yet again. Now combined all these vehicles together, I spent $1,700 on them all together. Now I do have to say the Ford Explorer was given to me. I paid $1,200 for this S10 and I paid $500 for the 99 Toyota Corolla. Now. I did put about a thousand dollars maybe in maintenance and tires, uh, oil changes, stuff like that. Not a whole lot of money went into it. So for less than three grand, I've had three vehicles and been driving without issues for the most part for the last four or five years. I mean, you saw where I got the Toyota. I did a video the day I, I you know, I bought the, uh, I bought the Corolla. And I was talking in that video how it is that you buy a $500 car. Now, I'll leave a link down in the description to it. I came back a few years later and talked about how it is if you want to be rich. Uh, I believe the title was Want to Be Rich, Drive a POS. And that video just recently has pretty much gone viral. I mean, I'm getting somewhere around eight to 10,000 views every couple of days on this video. And it has well over 365,000 views. So a lot of people agreed with the idea that if you want to become rich, you got to drive a POS car, a beater. And the main reason for it is, is that so much money goes into expenses, especially when it comes to payments, interest payments, maintenance, insurance, gas, everything that goes into a new vehicle nowadays. Of course, yeah, gas, you got EV vehicles and hybrids and, you know, a lot more fuel efficiencies. But I'm talking with a guy the other day who just bought a brand new pickup truck who makes $1,000 a month payments and his gas mileage in that truck doesn't seem to be much better than what I'm getting in this S10. So, you know, I'm thinking that that truck right there is probably costing him as much every month to drive than this vehicle costs me altogether. Like, since I've had it, maybe not in fuel costs, right? That's the only thing I put into it. But literally a month payment is enough for me to drive for years. I mean, think about that. If you could put that money away instead of buying a vehicle, how much you would be able to invest, how much you'd be able to save, how much you could do with that. I mean, it's just incredible. It's, it's mind boggling to think. I mean, he's going to spend $12,000 by the end of the year and I will have spent, you know, $500, you know, on this vehicle, maybe an in insurance and, and, you know, maintenance or something. So it's really incredible to think about like what it is that people are putting their, putting their priorities into when they consider like how desperate most people are for, for money. Like, I mean, the average person out there has, or what was it, uh, less than 50% of the people, if I got it right, have less than $400 in emergency fund. And I'm thinking, wow, I look at all the vehicles out there. I drive the ugliest vehicles in town. That means everybody else out there has a vehicle that's worth more than me because I have a $500 car and a $1,000 car. There might be a couple of people out there who have one that's worth less than me, but not really. Right? Almost everybody out there it drives a more expensive vehicle and they can't come up with 400 well 50 percent of them wouldn't be able to come up with 400 dollars in case of an emergency and i'm thinking i i can come up with 400 dollars in case of an emergency but i don't drive a car that costs me a thousand dollars a month either i drive very cheap vehicles and if one breaks down it doesn't inconvenience me because it's not my only vehicle i anticipate that something is going to break down and by that, I am knowing 
that I'm going to have to use another vehicle at some point just because of that. So I have them lined up, right? Two of them backing up my first vehicle. So I have three vehicles just to make sure that I don't do not get inconvenienced to travel because of the old vehicles that I drive. I'm aware of it. People talk about safety, you know? Yeah, I can write, sure, new vehicles are safer than old vehicles. And that Toyota Corolla doesn't exactly feel like the safest vehicle going down the road, especially when you're passing past, going past a log truck, right? I mean, that's like, you know, you gotta make sure that, you know, everybody is cool and everybody's driving safe and you have to be very aware. But still, it's a vehicle that gives me transportation, right? It's safe enough that I've been able to travel down the road and keep control of the vehicle for the most part without having too many issues with it. It got sideswiped one time. I did a video on that. That wasn't my fault, but you know, some vehicles have a tendency to be a little more accident prone than others. But really, when you think about it, driving an old vehicle and it gets sideswiped and it bothers you for about 30 seconds, that's a pretty nice feeling to have, right? Now, if I was driving a brand new car out there and it gets sideswiped, it would ruin my day. It would ruin my week, you know? You would have insurance to deal with and, you know, the vehicle would be down because you would have to get it repaired and then you would have to deal with all the inconveniences of that and stuff like, who needs that? Who needs that in their life, right? So, again, like I think about what it is that you would really want a new vehicle for. I mean, Sure, there is some reliance there, but if you have multiple vehicles, it's cool. I mean, they are a little bit safer, but really, you know, it's all about the way you handle the vehicle and what you're doing with it. Okay. What is the last thing? You want to look cool? I mean, looking cool is alright. I mean, I can imagine myself driving a new Camaro. I'd love to do that. I mean, driving a new Camaro is actually something that I think about as far as an experience that I would really enjoy having. Right? Like, I think it would be cool. I'd be like, man, look at me driving my new car. And it's, a, and it's this, you know, this beautiful hot rod or something. Right? But that's just a feeling. It's not, it's not like, you know, it does anything for you. I mean, sure, if you have the money and it's a hobby, like, you know, you really enjoy cars and you like working on cars and detailing them out and tricking them out and doing all that, that's, that's another story. I mean, that's kind of like having a passion or something like that. But simply to have a vehicle to try and look cool? Like, I don't know why I would need to look that cool. Like, I mean, I don't know who it is that I would be impressing by having a new vehicle other than showing people, yeah, I know how to spend money, right? Or go into debt or something like that. Like, it doesn't, to me, like, I don't know how it is that a vehicle makes you look cool. I mean, I guess I could feel cool, you know, but then again, it's just a feeling. And if somebody was like impressed by the vehicle that you drive, I'm not really impressed by that. Like, I don't like you're, you're impressed by somebody's car. Like to me, that's not an impressive thing. Unless like, you know, again, it's a, something that they're tricking out or, you know, it's kind of like their, their passion, their art or something like that. Then I could understand, you know, Hey man, that guy has a really cool car tech, you know, look at what he's done with it. That part I could understand, but like, man, that guy has a really cool car that makes him cool. <sighs> no. And no way. That is not. That's not cool at all. I think what's even cooler is a guy who can make a bunch of money and chooses to drive a cheap car because the car is a waste of money. And they don't want to waste money. See, that impresses me more, personally. But I do want to drive that new Camaro around. That'd be fun. Maybe I'll rent one one day. All right. Uneducated Economist, you let me know.